guys welcome back to my channel so for this video i'm gonna be doing a fill a full miss jessie's wash and go routine and i'm gonna be giving a full review except on the two of the styling products because you guys already know how i feel about these products if you haven't seen any of my miss jessie's reviews before then you can go check those out i'll link them right on the top it is inverted this side um so before we get started don't forget to subscribe like and turn on the bell so you're notified whenever i post all right so i'm gonna show you guys all the products that i have from miss jessie's and you guys are going to comment which ones you want to see reviews on. If you want to see like which one, like for the conditioners, one has more slip. Like a battle of the conditioners kind of thing. Because I have all these products and I need your advice on what you want the videos on. So to start off, these are the ones that I'm using today, the new ones. These are three new ones that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be using the Harm Me Not Shampoo, the Soften Me Up Conditioner, and the Leave In Condish. And then I'm also going to be using my... Multi Cultural Curls and Jelly Soft Curls. Um, so that is for today. Now the rest of the products that I have here. I've used Pillow Soft Curls before. Again, if you haven't seen that video, go watch that video. I did a Multi Cultural Curls versus Pillow Soft Curls video. Um, I think I have a video on Honey Curls. But if not, I'll do one for you guys. I believe I have one of Honey Curls and Jelly Soft Curls. I was like battling those two. If not, I'll make that one. But I also, for new products, I got the Honey Sweet and Nice Moisturizing Conditioner and the Baby Buttermilk. It says that the Baby Buttermilk is supposed to be used as a refresher. So if you guys want a, a, a video on this one alone, then um, just comment and let me know. And then for the Battle of the Conditioners, it would be the Soften Me Up and the Honey Sweet and Nice. So if you want to see that video, let me know. So I'm also going to do voiceovers. I haven't done that in a while i haven't done any voiceovers so i'm gonna do voiceover for you guys you don't have to wait till the end of the video to see the review all right so let's get started so i'm gonna start off with the harm me not shampoo and i'm gonna show you guys the consistency it actually wasn't that thick it was pretty thin and the color reminded me of silk so as you guys can see as soon as i put it on my hair it lathers up very quickly it's just super thin so i had to use the shampoo two times and the smell was actually pretty good. It wasn't really overpowering and it kind of smelled like floral. Now to move to the Soften Me Up conditioner. As you guys can see, it is pretty thick. It didn't really move when I was putting my hands together. So I put a decent amount on both sides. Usually not as much as I put. I usually put more, but I decided to go a little less since it is thicker. So right now I'm just raking it through, distributing, distributing it. And it actually is going through very well. And it has a lot of slip to it. So now that we're going to start combing it through, you can see that it did not take long for that brush to go through my hair. And my hair was super dry and super tangled, which means that it had a lot of slip to it. And as I'm brushing, you can see the moisture and hydration within my curls. Even the back of my hair, that's usually way more knotted than the front, got detangled within seconds. As you can see, there was a little bit of pulling just because it was knotted, but it got super detangled. Now onto the leave-in condish. So it was much thicker than I expected a leave-in to be. Usually leave-ins are pretty thin. Um, this one was a little thicker. So now I'm just going to section my hair into two parts and distribute it. Don't mind how I'm distributing it. I had too much on one hand for one side. So I had to kind of pat it in at first. But now I'm going to rake it in to make sure it's evenly distributed. And since it is pretty thick, I felt like I needed more because I put more in one section rather than my whole head. So I'm just going to put a little bit more. Um, The scent was a little overpowering for my liking, but it still was a good um, leave-in conditioner and it was super smooth. And when straight into my hair, my hair looks super hydrated. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I already filmed the reviews for Multiculture Curls and Jelly Soft Curls. So you can click those links to go see them or you can head over to my TikTok or Instagram so that you can see how I use the Multiculture Curls and Jelly Soft Curls by themselves. Alright guys, so now my hair is fully dry. I haven't buffed it out and broke the cast of the gel yet. I just wanted to show you guys. This hair looks so bomb. It looks so defined and this is before breaking the cast. Let me just, do you guys see that? Like, wow. Okay. Um. So yeah, let me break the cast and then we will give the full end review. 
To break the cast, I'm obviously using my Mish Beauty Polished um, Hair and Scalp Oil, the same one I use every time. <sighs> All right, I would have to say I'm living whew, for these results. <sighs> that was a lot of work, okay. I realized that ever since my hair has started growing, it doesn't get big. I mean, I guess that's what you lose when you want length, right? Okay, but these are my results. I 100% love the results. Like, love them. They look great. My only issue with the products, like I stated before, is they all have very different scents. And if I'm using them all at one time, my hair is going to smell like 20 different things at one time. Which isn't really how this should work um i feel like yeah there are two i love the products the products were great i just didn't like how all the scents were very heavy if they had a lighter scent on each product it'd be perfectly fine i'd be gucci with it but it's really like what is it called the scent is very prominent there we go um so yeah these are my results i'm gonna give the what am I going to give each product? I'm going to give the conditioner is definitely getting a, eight out, a 9 out of 10. Because the only issue was the, the scent was too strong. The actual conditioner worked amazing. And I didn't even use that much. Um, I'm going to give the leave-in conditioner a 7. I felt like it was a little thick. but And then the scent as well. But besides that, I felt like it, it like actually worked well. I wasn't ex actually expecting it to work too well because of the fact that it was so thick and I had a cream and I had a gel. I was expecting it to kind of just, like, like just flop. But it actually did work really well. Um, and then, what else did I try? Oh, the shampoo. Um, the shampoo, I actually didn't notice that the, strong, the scent was that strong. I did, I did have a scent to it, obviously, but I don't feel like it was that strong. Um, the shampoo is going to get... A 10 out of 10 because it cleaned my scalp, did not strip my hair, and the scent wasn't bad and wasn't strong. So, yeah, that is how I'm rating those products. Again, if you want to see the review of the Multicultural Curls and Jelly Soft Curls, I have two different videos with them. Um, so you guys can see that, or you can head to my TikTok or Instagram, I have my reviews there as well. Um, so yes, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe like and turn on the bell so you get notified whenever i post